In applications created with code on time, user can edit records by clicking on the row of a record and pressing edit and making their changes and pressing save. In some situations, it might be easier to edit directly from the grid. We can use the row context menu and press edit. This will enable inline editing mode for this view on this page. The next time the user navigates to the page, inline editing will not be enabled. By default, the user has the ability to enable inline editing for their current user account by using the view selector and enabling inline editing. On smaller screens, the user can access this menu option using the context menu in the top right corner, selecting the view selector, and enable inline editing here. Every time the user navigates to this page, inline editing will be enabled. Navigating to other pages, you will notice that inline editing is not enabled on these other views until the user opts to enable the mode. It is possible to enable inline editing by default, as well as disable the ability for the user to control this option. In order to insert new records using inline editing, the user can use the new template at the bottom of the view. Let's learn how we can control the behavior of inline editing using the Project Designer. In the Project Designer, let's expand Customers page and double click on View 1. We can use the Tags property to control the behavior. The first tag is called Inline Editing. Adding this tag will enable inline editing by default for all users navigating to your app. We can see that inline editing will be enabled for our currently logged in user. If we log in as a new user, We can see that inline editing is enabled for this user as well. Note that all users have the ability to disable inline editing. We can also disable automatic enablement of inline editing when the user tries to edit a row. Use the tag inline editing none. Inline editing has not been enabled by the user here. If we use the row context menu, the new and edit options are no longer visible. The user will have to open the form in order to edit the record. The user can enable inline editing using the view selector. We can also disallow enabling inline editing via the view selector option. Let's add the tag inline editing option none.
The user cannot enable inline editing by using the row context menu. The user also cannot enable inline editing using the view selector either. We can also use the tag combination inline editing space inline editing option none in order to force inline editing enabled always and remove the ability for the user to disable the functionality. The user will always have inline editing enabled and will not have the option to turn it off in the view selector. There is also one more tag that we can use. Use the tag inline editing when pointer in order to enable inline editing only when the user is using a mouse and keyboard. Notice that we have the ability to enable inline editing due to the presence of a mouse pointer. If the user were using a touchscreen, such as on their iPhone, Android, or other mobile device, they will not have the option available.